Hello student, welcome to my class of computer science for class 12. Today we are going to understand the difference between HTML and XML and structure of HTML or XML also. Okay, so as you can see in the particular screen, the figure is shown in, okay, in the form of comparison and different kind of comparison standards like expand, basic, structural, language type, etc. So first column contain the detail regarding to the XML and second one thing containing the detail regarding to the HTML. So first of all expand to it means to say full form XML expand to that is extensible markup language while HTML expand to hypertext markup language. Basics the basic provide the framework for markup language and HTML actually predefined markup language okay student so HTML is a uh, defined as itself a markup language where the XML is a language that is provide the framework for markup language okay a structure actually XML provides the information while HTML do not contain any structure information language type XML is definitely case sensitive it means to say it can understand the difference between small a and capital A okay and HTML it is non case sensitive or we can say that it is non I mean to say case insensitive it do not dis have understand the difference between capital and small I mean to say you can write any code in a small letter or capital letter there is no difference in S X and that is HTML next one thing purpose of the language in xml the language purpose is transfer of information as i teach you from database to web browser okay to the html or third party languages in html it only provides you the presentation of data that means to say overall lookup of the website and design of the website errors actually XML not allowed any kind of error while in HTML small error can be ignored okay white space that meant to say new line space in XML preserved automatically while in HTML do not preserve white space closing tag in XML compulsory to use the closing tag in HTML closing tag are optional nesting that means to say structure inside the structure so in XML nesting should be okay properly done in HTML not much valuable in next part of the slide we will understand the structure of XML document system so student there are basically following part of the XML system document. Uh, XML document is intended to display data, okay, like HTML, okay, and XML document system comprises of following. So, what are the comprises? You can see style sheet that is cascade style sheet, you can see that are XLS actually it identify the style how it will appear for example how font look like this color size alignment of the element actually it provides a framework for html not a true it defines some rule now grammar structure that is data documentation okay data type documentation we can say that it is optional component in XML structure or document system that define the rule for the document that is tag definition etc for example if you have declared a new tag in XML what should be the attribute how they will activate so on detail will be covered in data type, data type document okay now XML file it contain and describe actual data and now how to prepare XML document in order to prepare XML document system 
you may do not <clears throat> in order to prepare xml document you may do the following step so you can see student the steps are given here prepare xml document file as problem okay so xml document divided into two part the first one thing prolog second one thing data instance the prolog actually it is introduction to the xml document it include an xml declaration comment etc okay an xml declaration suppose that its version okay it is its language okay supporting system that is 18l system comments what is meant for and data instance that means to say what data they are using okay and uh, now prepare a style sheet for the xml file it contain the style rule tell browser how display xml document okay and link to the xml file with style sheet so we can consider here an example student suppose that if we are going to show this type of output okay which contains some type of data so what we have to do here is a particular motherboard detail and here is a monitor detail you can see motherboard asus okay p3bf tf tft monitor lg electronics 995b like this so according to code it will look like this student so first part is so first of all this file name contain as text.xml here is .xml is extension for this file prolog that contain in a pink strip that start with question mark okay along with tag here it shown declaration like version encoding utf8 and here under the prolog another one line is mentioned here that shows the style sheet type and it's a url you can see part.css actually style sheet a special file that uh, define the rule how font will look like okay appear in browser what will the color of that and shadow etc now data instance you can see the part is the root element of the xml code inside that title title is close another one part is child element of that okay that contain number of the tags with its information you can see that is part is open part is close another part is open part is close but first element always consider as root element that is parts which is closed at last and now what are the important preparation for a style sheet first one thing here student part that is contain tag that contain display block title that contain display block font as arial color hexadecimal code is given here that is start with hash double o then 8000 again font weight that is size okay it's width okay margin top text alignment center part display block so next part part name display block font family arial color this one same and here is sizes different 14 margin top okay here is 10 pt means 10 pixel okay down margin top manufacturer display block font family area login okay here is difference only that uh, particular size and width all uh, weight all okay model you can see same thing everything is same somewhere is a color also okay somewhere is size also cost display block font family area color 8000 that is 800000 it will be a six digit code okay hexadecimal code then font weight 400 font size 14 margin left 30 pixel margin right 5 pixel so student as you can see student this particular details like part title again part okay so this is a simply tag which tag will have uh, their automatic property this can be designed by the particular part.css whose hyperlink we have given in this particular product part okay that's the type is style sheet type that is text and slice that is css it's a detail in uh, this particular sheet 
so every tag has its own detail suppose that if we have covered this particular title inside title whatever the content will return it will be converted in this particular rule that means to say font will be changed color will be changed size will be changed top margin will be changed everything will be changed in but this particular title if you are talking about this part so it will have another one thing details like simple display block that's it okay there is no color or this one thing part name you can see that part name motherboard here you can see part name tft monitor so this will be act on the basis of this particular rule so whatever the tag mentioned in this particular xml code it has the hidden feature i am to say hidden facility like font color size width okay pixel top margin bottom margin everything will be carried out from the this particular style sheet file so a style sheet file actually design the rules for displaying the particular content which are covered in this particular tag like computer part motherboard part asus pv3f tft monitor lg electronics so this be regulated by data instances regulated by this excel that is css file that is cascading file okay student i hope you have learned what are the property of xml file what is css file what is the role of css file over the xml file and how to understand it till then thank you and have a nice day